Okay guys, this is gonna be a reading for Libra. Sun and rising in Venus. Gonna start with oracle messages for you. Okay, so number 41 is blowing up a storm. So something unpredictable could happen. Um, this is a timeless message, so Expect sudden change whenever you see this reading. Know that there's a necessary shakeup, there's transformation, there's hope going on uh, that you may not be aware of. You're just gonna have to read between the lines and we'll get more into this. Let's see what else we have for you, Libra. We also have 29 come to Jesus. So truthful communication, some kind of integrity is gonna be needed. Divine intervention, a need to surrender, maybe a reconciliation with someone. The bottom of the deck, 11, two peas in a pod, a soul partnership that resonates with a true love, a mirror match, someone that's Coming with blessings, a life mate. So we also have 40 bump on a log. So lazy and around, loafing, inertia, a false start, a non response, disinterest. Interesting. The bottom of the deck, number nine, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. So a need for self-love, relaxing, regenerating, rejuvenating, replenishing, self-satisfaction, going within, just really taking care of yourself. Um, we'll go ahead with the tarot and see what's going on with that. So it seems like there's going to be some kind of change that comes with a conversation unexpectedly from someone that there's been some kind of separation from because there's been a lack of action of some kind. Okay, so we have the King of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Page of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Six of Wands. The bottom of the deck, the Ace of Swords. So definitely some kind of communication about why someone may have been MIA, missing in action, you know. Um, maybe not taking any kind of, you know, initiative to come forward with a stable opportunity to have a new and refreshing start you know to spend time and energy together and there was a lack of attention this person was in their ego um and now it's like you know they're going to be trying to come forward and discuss that and give you the attention and things it is you deserve and they know that you've been over it so let me see what else is going on with this the lovers gemini energy so this is definitely a soul partner or somebody that definitely sees you as not wanting to give up on them. 
care will in turn start giving you the time and attention that it is you need and make choices that align them with you. I feel like this person may have definitely decided that they want to put their pride aside and go ahead and show you that they're wanting to come back because they know that um, you're their weakness and they can't help but want to be married to you or stay married to you or I don't know. It's definitely giving somebody that you know this is a new energy. The Magician, Gemini energy. Gemini is the sign of the twins. Um, the bottom of the deck, the Moon, Pisces energy. <laughs> There's definitely been some things that have been necessary shakeups on both sides, both parties. Um, and now everything is manifesting in a way that there's emotional clarity and healing that's occurred and someone's watching and wanting to communicate and they've made a decision that they've done the healing and they've had an epiphany and awareness that you're their person, their equal counterpart. And they feel like you and them have everything it is and that it takes to have a very strong and beautiful divinely guided love. And they're willing to put the time and energy to make this go towards marriage. Like they have been in a stalemate but they are coming to some kind of awareness that is time. So if this person hasn't spoken to you, they will be soon. And if they don't speak, they're gonna pop up. It's definitely someone from the past that can't walk away or may someone's tried to walk away, but they want this marriage, this higher level commitment if it's not marriage. Um, and they want to talk, they want to communicate. They're coming forward, the chariot here, cancer energy. Um, if they haven't already, they're coming through. And I think a lot of you already have an inner awareness of who this person is. I also want to do a few real ass messages. These are my messages for you, Libra. Just a few. I'm not even going to hold you with many. And then we'll do a little moon oracle as well. But these will help more confirmation on what this is and why you needed this message. I'm sure all that might be needed, but let's know what that might look like, please. Leave a comment Okay, so Manifest Destiny 1111 and Capricorn came out. We also have Pisces. So, someone's manifesting something and it's definitely gonna be some wishes coming true. But at the bottom, it's proceeding with caution so that you need to be careful and maybe not make any sudden decisions just because someone comes through. Um, because there may be some feelings and emotions that need to be resolved and walked away from in order for this to manifest. Like there may be some kind of blockage I'm hearing and that's why it's not happening because there's a deep need for some healing. And that's why, you know, these, the page and the King of Wands, like they're 
there's still somebody that needs to grow up in some kind of manner and that's why things aren't moving in the direction but if the work is done i'm hearing someone makes choices to align with what they love and be in high vibrational energy um there's going to be some kind of shake up and i guess you know at this point i kind of want to know maybe what shake up is going to be going on with the but that's like the tower card for oracles and i kind of want to know what this is that about for you libra before we even Because the whole proceed with caution thing, too, and <laughs> be careful what it is you're trying to manifest. Okay. So the Ten of Swords and the Two of Swords. So some kind of betrayal or maybe just a perception of one that one is in denial of or can't see the bottom of the deck the hermit energy virgo energy um because you're in a dangerous sense of isolation there's some kind of hostility about um maybe even a child i don't know but um It could be a job, some kind of obligation. But you feel like that there was some kind of backstabber or someone doing something that you were maybe unaware of um, there. Maybe a family member. But there's some kind of family member that you may need to be on the lookout about because they really don't want to see you win. And I'm not really sure, but there's somebody that seems to be in some kind of isolation that needs to really soul search and go within, go deep there's a confrontation or a communication about somebody that may be underachieving and have a lack of direction and they can't make a decision because they need to grow up and um, it's affecting the family and the come to Jesus it may be about somebody that's lazy if this isn't about love the empress yeah libra energy so the person that's lazy is the the empress someone that may be feeling like they are all high and mighty and they're really you know somebody that could definitely be creative and make a lot of beautiful things happen if they cooperate and behave like a team member and really focus on their success and stay positive and take action. And I feel like this is someone that will make a, you know, ideal partner, you know, someone you can work with, but they need to really make something come together and have some kind of realization. And you know, basically make peace with some things that have occurred in the past so that things can move forward and there is transparency for a new beginning that can really lead to a lot of growth for everybody involved and it's like you're good Libra no matter what but there's somebody that's you're dealing with or dealt with that may have underachieved in the past and you're gonna try to you know basically 
take the high road. And it's going to lead you to everything that you need in order to have your dreams come true. And there'll be some people here that are going to have your back and make sure you learn the ropes here with the three of pentacles. And so we'll finish this off with a little bit of moon oracle advice for you. And that'll be it, Vipers. Real short, simple, and to the point, I hope. But um, I hope this reading resonates for you. Let me know down below in the comments. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely like for you to stick around. This will be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Last quarter moon in Aries, work through your feelings. So there's definitely something that you're feeling on the internal that needs to be acknowledged, processed, and released. And you will feel a lot better once this gets off your chest and out of your system so that you can move forward in life last quarter moon in Libra make time for self-love I think it definitely ties in here with you know number nine if mama ain't happy ain't nobody happy and that's a need for you to find that balance between loving yourself and those that are closest to you that help keep you strong and you know valid about what it is that you have going on and also first quarter moon in Taurus release control so go in tune with whatever outcome it is don't try to control manipulate any options you know just go with the flow um and everything will be cool First quarter moon in Scorpio, release your blocks. I think that, you know, definitely ties in with a lot of what I've been saying. Um, there'll be a lot of things that you make some realization about um, that will help you really see what route it is you need to take in the future once you go within and, you know, get to know what it is that it is you want to create in your life because you'll have that energy and it'll be within your power to have you know that empowerment to make it happen so that is what i have for you here the phoenix ash ent channel again subscribe 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 i'd love for you guys to stick around thank you for tuning in until next time guys